Hi guys and welcome to the video. Hope you're all doing great today. It's Nick here from noob to pro and we've been talking all about the different creatures on Ark. Today it's all about the Triceratops, also known as the Trike. So let's go find one. We're looking at the Trike spawn map for the island and as you can see they are relatively common and spawn throughout most of the map. Okay, we found one then. So, let's just check its level out. It's a, a level 8. Okay, so it's a low level. Now, as you can see, you can go straight up to a trike, stand right in front of it. It's not going to attack you. The only way to get them to attack is by hitting them first. Be warned though, any other tracks in the area will also attack you if you hit any of them. Also, as with any of the other, or most of the other dinos on Ark, if you steal their eggs, they will attack. So, we are going to try and knock it out. We're not going to use a, a melee weapon like a club or anything. They would win that fight. They've got great melee weapons themselves, as you can see on their head there. So we're going to use a ranged weapon. If you're high enough level, you want to be using either a crossbow or a bow with trank arrows. We, however, are going to do it using a slingshot. So we are going to hit it. There, It's going to get angered at us. We're going to run away. Hopefully it's going to chase us up towards these trees on these rocks. And it won't be able to get us here. And we're hoping... Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's not going to get us there. What we were really hoping for was that it was going to get stuck in some trees. You may sometimes see trikes along the beaches around the island stuck between trees. And that's the best, best way to get them. Because they can try and charge all day long, but they're stuck between the trees and they can't get you. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing very much damage here. I do body shots and I do more damage than with headshots. So, with tracks, it's the opposite to with regular creatures on arc. Regular creatures have headshot multipliers. These guys, the opposite, they've got head armor. So you do less by hitting them in the head. Now, this guy is as we were mentioning stuck between trees and that's exactly what's happened to this one so it's making it a nice easy tame for me or an easy knockout should i say all i've got to do is keep firing and firing and eventually it will be knocked out so always make sure you have more than one slingshot with you because it will break as you've just seen and we just got to keep going. Now, if it... There we go. It's knocked out. Great. So, we'll pop some berries in her. I'm using Meteor Berries here. Okay, then I'm going to have a quick look around the area. Make sure there's no Dilos or Compies or anything like that. Because they will come and ruin our team. As I've said, I'm using Meteor Berries. You can you can use Simple Kibble, I believe it is. You can use Mixed Berries or Crops. I will put it up on screen as to which is the most efficient downwards. Okay. So, the Trike Saddle is level 16. It's wood, fibre and hide to make it. And you make it in your own inventory. We'll have a quick look at this girl's stats. Right, she's got reasonably high health for a level 4. Sorry, a level 8 trike. 525 there. Stamina, 165. That's quite low. And when you're riding a trike, the stamina goes down real quickly. And it takes quite a while to get back up. So we need to put some some work into the stamina there the weight is okay 372 we would want it a bit higher trikes often have high weight excuse me the melee damage is 105 and the movement speed at 100 so 
we when it tames out it's going to get what three levels it says there we're going to hope those levels go into weight melee damage health or stamina if they're going to the oxygen or the food they'll be pretty much wasted levels there so as it's only level eight i'm not going to have to use any narcotics to keep it asleep if it was a high level you might have to use in berries if you're using kibble you probably wouldn't have to but as i say i'm not going to have to it's only a level eight now it's 14 percent tamed so i'm going to get back to you when it is tamed okay here she is then tamed out at level 11 as we expected so let's just have a quick look at her stats right she didn't get any into her health or her stamina i think it's gone into weight melee damage and on the speed there okay that's not too bad so let's see what she can do okay now how many times have you gone out collecting berries by hand you've had a handful here and a handful there and it's taken you quite some time to get anything worth the while so let's just see what a trike can do there you go let's say two hits and we've got a few hundred berries there straight away absolutely great and let's just have a look at a tree got a lot more berries as well got a bit of thatch and a little bit of wood so that's what we're aiming for with the trike in the early game absolutely brilliant for collecting berries and so on now let's go find something to show you her fighting skills on okay then we came up here looking for a raptor or two and we found a carno over there in the distance so let's just check right it's a level 16 and the track gained a couple of levels while we were coming up here looking for it so the track is now a level 13 i put them both into the stamina so let's get up there and see what the track can do against a carno right i'll just get my stamina up before the carno sees me get up a bit closer we really need a, the stamina up before we go into battle now the track has got a really really good knockback effect here we go right there you can see the carno got one hitting but now before the carno can get anywhere near me i'm just hitting it and there you go level 16 carno against the level 13 trike trike comes out on top you've got to time your hits perfectly otherwise the carno is going to get in and get a, a hit in on you just like that one did only one but it, it got one in so let's have a see what else is around um the, where was that iguanodon gone I don't know where that went. Don't tell me a, a, a Dalaphosaur beat an Iguanodon. I don't believe that. So, right, okay. We'll do the, the charge attack on the Dilo there. So, if you can see on the right hand side right now, there's the icon where it's filling up. It's filled. He's ready to go. And I've lost the Dalaphosaur. Oh, it's in with the rocks. So, that's going to be quite hard for me to get at the moment. Uh, I'll try it anyway. Unfortunately, when they are charging, they've got a turning circle like a London bus. And But we've got him, and you see we've knocked him flying there. Now, oh, <laughs> he's just come back up. There you go, you go away. And his friend as well. Now, that brings the stamina right down that attack. And it does take a while for the stamina to come back up, as I've mentioned previously. But it's a brilliant attack. It, you can do it against most, well, all small and most medium sized creatures. And if you use the trike properly, I would put it against most, like I said, small or medium sized creatures. Final thoughts on the Triceratops then. It's not the easiest of early game tames. 
but saying that it is worth the taming just for the amount of berries it can collect for you. If you get yourself up to level 21 and learn Trank Arrows, then it does make things that much easier for you. Talking about its fighting skills, I would say it's quite reasonable, but its stamina does let it down. What I didn't mention earlier is that a Raptor cannot knock you off your steed whilst you are riding a trike, and that is a big bonus. All in all, they're a pretty useful tame to have around. All that's left for me to say is, if you've learnt anything from this video, please hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more of our videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.